What is truth? This is the question that education should ask. But Catholic education should ask so much more. You see, Pontius Pilate asked Jesus Christ, quid est veritas, what is truth? As faithful Catholics, we must also ask, quis est veritas, who is truth? Tan Academy seeks to answer this very question. We seek to point our students to the who, not just the what. Of course, we do this in religion, but also in history and literature, and even in the sciences. For God's glory is manifest in the smallest blade of grass and the finest grain of wheat. But life is not so simple. We live in a fallen world. The kingdom of man has proclaimed Jesus Christ is not our truth. He's not our way. He's not our life. Now let it be known. America, our once great nation, the shining city on a hill, is no longer a Christian nation. Although we have many great advocates spread throughout the public and private sector, by and large, pop culture and big tech and the political swamp have rejected he who endowed them with inalienable rights. Cruelty and wickedness and perversion is everywhere. Lucifer has been welcomed in the front door. Now, dear friends, I fear our nation will now undergo a purgation, the flames of which will be fanned by the wings of the Holy Spirit due to the sins committed against Him. But one day, a remnant will arise from the smoldering ashes of a once great people. It is this remnant that Tan Academy hopes to educate, to support, and to embolden as holy warriors of Jesus Christ. This remnant must be of greater stock than our founding generation. We must not put our faith in the same brazen pride of the Reformation and French Revolution to fuel the rebirth of civilization. We must place our hope not in the power of reason, but in the power of revealed truth. Not in the power of self-actualization, but in obedience to divinely appointed authority. Not in the power of human accomplishment, but in the power of divine accomplishment on a wooden cross. The remnant can place its hope only in the eternal truths of Christ and His Church. The remnant knows that the kingdom of God on earth was not founded upon Plymouth Rock, but upon Christ's Rock, Cephas, Peter, the Supreme Pontiff, the one office in this life always deserving our fidelity, no matter the grievously flawed men who occupy the office from time to time. And if this remnant is going to bloom upon the face of the earth. It must be nourished, cared for, and the gloomy shade must make way for the vibrant sun. This is what Tan Academy aims to do. Tan Academy seeks to support those families that desire to raise holy saints amidst our fallen world. I am one of you. My wife and I have 14 children, and just like you, we fight against all odds every day to keep our children pure and devout and joyful. We want our children to be more educated, more wise than the children of darkness. I know you. I know you would give up everything the world has to offer so your children can partake in all that heaven has to offer. Families like yours need Tan's resources, motivation, and encouragement. You need practical tools to resist the temptations of the world that intrude upon your family. You need the best curriculum as inexpensively as possible, for you, my friends, should never have to choose between books and diapers. In short, we want Tan Academy to not just educate your children, but to help you with family formation. That is, to live a traditional Catholic family life in every aspect of life. Tan Academy has devised a trustworthy, a simple, and affordable curriculum. And this will grow over time. Our online classes will grow over time, as will our academic services. And very soon, we will launch many tools and resources for family formation, tailor-made for the busy mom and dad who are doing the best they can. I want to invite you new folks to homeschooling. If you're on the fence about whether this is the right option for your family. I invite you to prayerfully take the issue before our Eucharistic Lord. 
give him a chance to speak to you. And of course, contact us and we'll answer any questions. Now Mark Twain said that history may not repeat itself, but it sure does rhyme. And thus, as good students of history, we must mince no words about our children and grandchildren potentially being called to great suffering for Christ. It has happened before, and it will happen again. The remnant, my friends, will not be warmly welcomed in the years to come. And so, it is Tan Academy that will teach a new generation of Catholics to gaze upward and to the sky, not just to marvel at the beauty of God's creation, but in anticipation of the Messiah's second coming in all His splendor and all His glory. This is what Catholic education can be. This is the end, the purpose, the vision of Tan Academy.